guys, so today I am officially six weeks pregnant. Today is six weeks and zero days. So let's talk about the past sixth week. I'll tell you guys a little bit about how I've been feeling, different things that are going on. If you want to see some of the stuff that I'm gonna talk about here, then just keep on watching. So this week, I feel like pregnancy slapped me in the face. Holy cow. I have been so ridiculously tired. It's not even funny. I can't even explain how tired I have been. And morning sickness has begun. What the heck? I thought for sure I was gonna get out of it, but on Wednesday of this week, it came. And it, I, there was one moment where I felt like I was gonna throw up and I thought about going to the bathroom, but I did not. So I almost felt like I was going to throw up or get sick, but I just had this terrible like stomach ache kind of feeling, but just like, and like heartburn and like a terrible feeling. I just felt gross on Wednesday morning and then a little bit in the afternoon. I kind of get it in the morning and the afternoon. And I think it has to do with not having eaten. If I haven't had breakfast yet, I don't feel good. Like as soon as I wake up in the morning, I'm like starving hungry, so hungry it's not even funny. And then by the end of the afternoon, around like two or three o'clock or so after I've had lunch at noon and dinner's not till like 5.30, around two or three o'clock, I kind of start to feel the same way again. I kind of feel sick and gross and yucky, but if I snack on something, it usually gets a little bit better. So I've had three days of that so far and it's not fun. I wouldn't say it's terrible morning sickness by any means because I know some ladies have it like all day long and it's just horrible and they actually do throw up. I'm so glad that I did not throw up so far. I mean, we're only three days into this now, but uh, but anyway, it wasn't that bad, but not the best feeling either. I have been sleeping like total crap. I have been sleeping so bad. Like some nights I just, my, my one pillow that I have been using for months and months now, the other day I was like, this thing is so stinking flat, I can't even lay on it. So I had to throw that pillow out, get my old trusty pillow that's a little bit fluffier, made it a lot better, but still not perfect. I wake up, I don't ever have to get up to pee in the middle of the night, but I just get up like, like uh, maybe like four o'clock in the morning. I usually up about like 5.30ish, 5.45ish, about four o'clock I go out and wake up and just kind of like lay there and just like want to go back to bed. And then by the time it's actually time to wake up, I'm like so stinking tired, it's like ridiculous. So I just have, sometimes I just can't really fall asleep, but it's like I wake up in the middle of the night for a little while. I just been sleeping really crappy. I don't know. And it's like been hot. I just feel so hot even though the house is like a normal temperature. I don't know. I have to sleep with like barely any clothes on because it's like so stinking hot. I just can't even stand it. I have to sleep like half under the blanket, half outside the blanket. It's just silliness. And perhaps because of the sleeplessness, I have been, I feel like my dark circles, my under eye circles are like 10 times worse than they normally are. So either I'm like totally draining myself from sleep and they're looking terrible or I'm just looking terrible for no good reason. <laughs> so I just, I have noticed they have been kind of bad lately. My boobies have still been hurting a little bit, but not that bad. It's mostly just the nipple area that kind of feels uncomfortable if you like touch it and stuff. So as long as you're not like poking them and everything, it's all going okay. I did have a little bit of abdominal cramping earlier in the week, but after, it's like it switched it out. Like I was having abdominal cramping at the beginning of the week and then as soon as like the morning sickness started to come, that went away, but then I had morning sickness. So got rid of one thing and started getting another. Now let's talk about food. Holy cow, have I been really, really weird when it comes to food this week. So weird, it's not even funny. The smell of barbecue stuff freaks me out. Like Justin was making some little smokies over the weekend and the smell of the barbecue sauce he was using in them just smelled gross. Like it totally grossed me out. But I had a couple of them later on in the day after they'd been cooking for a while and I was totally fine eating them, but actually smelling the smell of the barbecue sauce was like gross. And then Justin had some barbecue chips the other night too. And the smell, like as soon as he opened the bag, I was like, dude, that's so gross. But then I had some and it wasn't bad tasting. I just hated the smell of it. I love carrots. I've been eating carrots like crazy, but I was eating carrots like crazy before I got pregnant, so that's not really a big thing. I love to season them and put them in the oven, and like they're so yummy, so good. And then I also like to have them when they've been in the crock pot all day with like a, like not, not like a stew, but like a roast or something with all the different juices and stuff all soaking up in the carrots. So good. Love me some carrots. It's not even funny. I'm addicted to carrots. When I am hungry, I need to be fed immediately. But I feel like I was like that before, like right before I got pregnant too. 
I don't know, I never used to be like that, but the last month or two or so I felt like that anyway, so I don't know if it's really pregnancy or why it started happening a couple months ago, but like, I'm like, I feel like I'm like starving to death if I don't get food immediately. I typically love salad. I will eat salad all the days. I love salad so much, I'll have it for lunch every day. Same dressing, same exact thing every day and I don't get tired of it, but Wednesday or Thursday, I can't remember which one it was, I, and I had like the morning sickness thing going on, I was eating a salad and like halfway through, one bite just tasted weird and it totally turned me off of the salad and I was like, can't have this anymore. It was like, for some reason, I can't even explain it, one bite of the salad, one particular bite, like maybe there was something rotten or something, you know, maybe one piece of lettuce was not as good as the others, maybe there was one crouton that was bad or something, but like one bite of the salad made me like want to throw the whole thing away and I, I finished eating, I quit eating it after that, which was really weird. I was like, even my favorite thing is not tasting correct. Like what the heck is going on inside of my body? Cause like things that I usually would like, like I love pepperoni hot pockets in the oven for half an hour. They're so crispy and yummy and awesome. But like just the thought of like all the sauce and everything grosses me out now. I don't even know what it's all about. And like thinking about like burgers and like really like heavy foods like pizza, like saucy kind of food, that just grosses me out. I don't want anything to do with that stuff. I don't know what the deal is. Usually I'm totally fine with all that food and then all of a sudden like this past week or so it's really been since like the morning sickness thing has kind of been messing with how I want to eat and what I want to eat and stuff. Everything's just all messed up. I, <laughs> I just don't know how else to say it. It's just like totally strange that my body's like hating things that it used to really like and I'm like, what are you doing? I love sweets, but I've always really loved sweets. I can't really do candy so much anymore. I don't know, because I had a craving for candy the other day. I tend to like more like brownies and cookies and cake and like cupcakes and that kind of thing, like soft cake-like kind of sweets as opposed to like hard candy kind of sweets. But I don't know, I've always been into sweets so I don't know if that's really that big of a change in my life. I love the Ghirardelli dark chocolate and sea salt caramel little chocolate dudes. They are freaking awesome. I love those. I have a little bag of them at work and I eat like two of them every day. <laughs> I love them so much. So another thing, I don't know if this is pregnancy related or not, but you might be able to tell here I've been itching my neck like this, like my chest like up here area and my neck area has been so itchy like the past two days or so. Like you can probably even tell I have like bumps and stuff from like itching it last night. Like the only thing that makes it better is if I like slather lotion on it and like sit under the fan so that the wind of the fan like keeps it nice and cool on the like liquidy lotion on my chest. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if I'm just crazy or what, if that has to do with pregnancy, but you can see I've been itching it like crazy and it's just kind of annoying. Kind of annoying, it's like really annoying. So that's all the things that have been going on this week and mostly a bunch of food issues, which is very strange to me. Morning sickness has finally come. I just, everything is weird. <laughs> it's just so strange to see. I'm glad my body knows what it's doing. You know, all of a sudden it's like something else has taken over my body. I don't have any control over it. And I like that feeling because I know it knows what to do and it's trying to build myself a little baby in here. You know, it's trying to work hard at something. I may not understand what it's up to, but I'm glad that I don't have to tell it what to do. It just knows what to do all on its own. So it's very scary in one aspect, but it's also very comforting too that my body is just doing its own thing right now. So that's really about it. That's all I've got to tell you guys. If you want, you can check out my blog at lanamarie91.blogspot.com. I always have a link down below in case you guys are interested. I've been documenting all of these feelings and everything on there too. So if you prefer to read, and I kind of ramble, so there's probably more information on my blog than I tell you here in the video. So if you want a little bit more on this week or any of the other weeks in the future or last week's video, whatever you want to know, it's all going to be on the blog. So don't you worry, your pretty little heads, I will have all the information you guys guys want to know about how I've been feeling lately so you can check it out there. I feel like I'm really rambling and it's about time for this video to be over so I hope you guys enjoy it. I love you guys. I'm so glad that you're here on this journey with me and I want you guys to know that I am so happy that you're here watching these videos. I don't even know how to explain my feelings right now. I don't look pregnant. I feel a little bit pregnant but it's still kind of very new and kind of scary and really exciting so I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Let me know what other kind of pregnancy stuff you guys want to see and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.